Hello, Peter Lightbeam here. In the battery-powered, portable electronics universe that we live in, sooner or later, all of us have to deal with leaking and corroded batteries. I'm going to show you how to clean that up. I was hoping to find a particularly severe case of corrosion for this video, but I don't have anything handy. This little weather station will have to do. As you can see, there's corrosion right here, and regardless of how severe it is in your case, the same rules apply. Let's get at it. Here's a sampling of some of the tools that you might need, depending on how serious the condition of your batteries are. A toothbrush, a small screwdriver, some cotton swabs, some paper towels, cut up. I'll show you why in a little bit. You'll need a little bit of white vinegar, not this much. One tablespoon will do. If you have a small measuring cup or a cap from a can of spray paint, that's helpful, as is for the fresh water. A little fresh water is needed. Possibly some isopropyl alcohol and some WD-40. You may not use some of these, and that's okay. Case by case. First, we'll remove the batteries, and you want to remove them from the side opposite the coil spring right here. You can see that that spring operates. So we'll take the batteries out. Again, opposite side of the spring. And you'll see here we've got a little bit of um, salt-like corrosion. We'll tap that gently and get the bulk of that out. Scrape some of this off. Tap it gently. Take the toothbrush and clean up the contacts as best you can. And be very, very careful not to flick this into your eyes. I would recommend that you wear safety glasses or a full face shield if you had one. All right, and we'll tap that gently. Next, take your vinegar and a cotton swab and dip it in there and then squeegee off excess vinegar on the inside of the cup. We don't want to flood the electronics. And then go in here and very gently swab the electrical contacts, all of them, even though they might not have been corroded. Once you've got this thing open, it's best to take care of everything at once. Now there might be some bubbling here. That's a good thing. That means the vinegar, which is basically a mild acetic acid, is acting on the corrosion. I have a little corrosion in the bottom here. We can mop that gently. And then immediately take a dry end of the swab and clean up the vinegar in here. Take another swab and some water and again squeegee off the excess. Go over everything that you touched with the vinegar and swab that down. Then flip it over and dry your work. Now at this stage I would recommend you walk away from this for a couple of hours, better yet overnight if you can leave it. If you're in a hurry you can take some rubbing alcohol and again take some rubbing alcohol but squeegee off the excess on the cotton swab and put rubbing alcohol on the contacts and that'll help dry out the water. And the last step, which is one that a lot of people don't do or I don't see doing, is using a little bit of WD-40. And the best way to deal with that is to take a paper towel and put the cotton swab in the middle of the paper towel. Then take your WD-40, and I shouldn't be doing this on camera, but I will.
putting a little WD-40 on there. This way you don't have it spraying all over the place. You don't have to spray it into a cup. Now I've got a little WD-40 on my, on my swab and I'm going to go in here and I'm going to gently massage all of the contacts with a little bit of WD-40. We're not soaking this here. And again, do all the contacts even though they didn't have any corrosion on them. WD-40 stands for Water Displacement 40. Number 40 because it was the 40th formula they tried that finally worked out. A good basic name. Now the paper towels that I had rolled up, I do that for a reason. If you're uncomfortable with fluids in an electronic product like this, you can take a piece of paper towel that's shorter than the battery and roll it up into a kind of a log shape like this and put it in here underneath the contacts so as anything leaks out you can pick it up with the paper towel and then also uh, when rolled up you can use them to do a final wipe down of the interior then check to make sure you don't have any corrosion on the battery cover if you do and it's all plastic just take it over to the kitchen sink and give it a, a good washing and let it dry now to wrap this up, let's put in some fresh batteries. For those that are a little uncertain, this small button on the end is the positive side on a battery and the mostly flat side is the negative side. And the negative side most often pushes up against the spring on this side. There's markings in the bottom of most products. If you can't see it, get a flashlight and edge light it. The lettering will pop out at you. So the flat size goes to the, the compression spring. And the second one goes in. That little chirp tells us that we're working. So this product's okay. Here's one of the batteries that we took out. You can see the corrosion. Not horrible, but left for a while would eventually potentially ruin the product. I hope you have found this video useful. This is Peter Lightbeam signing off, but please stay tuned. Bye bye.